Hello, good morning. We have woken up to a very gloomy day um, here in the UK, which I actually don't hate because it's still humid though and clammy. I've just noticed a disgusting bird poo on our window. It's still humid and clammy though, so it's not actually that comfortable, but it's just very rainy, which I'm grateful for. It's been nice weather, but it is nice to have a bit of rain. We do need it. Do you know what I mean? We need the rain, don't we? So I've got an unexpected chilled day. I had an afternoon appointment, hair appointment. Um, so on Thursdays I work at my friend's salon, um, which is like a 20 minute drive away from me. And I had, I was supposed to be in from two until nine, because I had two colours and cuts, but my afternoon colour and cut has cancelled. So I now don't have anyone till six. So I basically have like an unexpected day off. I have tried to vlog over the last couple of weeks and I just, I don't know what's happened. I just haven't quite gained the momentum throughout the week to continue vlogging. So it's just been very all over the place. We went to Brighton Beach House uh, about two weeks ago and took Gabe because it was a lovely day and we haven't been, Brighton Beach House is part of Soho House and it opened a couple of months ago I think. We haven't been down to see it so it's just quite a nice excuse to just kind of go to Brighton um so we went in the morning we set off about half eight um went and had some breakfast took Gabe who if you saw my Instagram you would have seen would fit right in he loved it and then had a little walk around Brighton and then came back it was a very hot day and our car's air conditioning is broken so that was not great but either way a lovely start to the week and then I just didn't really vlog much else that week <laughs> it was then Gabe's birthday so the last time I spoke to you oh and thank you so much everyone for all your tips and things on like Montessori play and development and stuff like that that's been really helpful um but yeah it was Gabe's second birthday last week I was gonna vlog throughout the week then didn't end up happening everything just got a bit like well I kind of didn't really feel like vlogging and also everything was just a bit chaotic. So Hainsley was actually away working for most of the week. So he wasn't here. Well, he was away in Prague for the first half of the week. Then he got back the evening before Gabe's birthday and he was working all day on Gabe's birthday. So he was with us in the morning. But my mum came to stay. We went to Ikea to get Gabe's birthday presents. And yeah, it was a really nice week. On his actual birthday, we went to Kew Gardens because um, it was a lovely sunny day and they've got like a kids garden there and it's not it's like a bus ride away for us so that was lovely if you are near Kew Gardens and you've got kids I highly recommend going and checking out this little kids garden because it's well actually it's quite big um because it's just a great way to be outdoors with them in like a safe environment and they can just run around there's like a massive sand pit there's some tree houses um like wooden climbing frames and stuff it's really nice so anyway um they've also then got like a family cafe and there's like a shop so you can buy like the Kew Gardens like nature books and stuff. But anyway, it was just a really nice way to spend his birthday. Because we didn't, <clears throat> last year we had a party for him. And that was mainly because we had him in lockdown and lots of family had still hadn't met him yet. But this year, there, there was just no point really having a big do. He doesn't really have any like baby kid friends. Like we know other kids, but like it's a funny age because they're all... At different stages developmentally and they don't really know what's going on like birthday wise yeah it just kind of got closer and closer and we hadn't planned anything so what we decided to do was as i say my mum did come down and we did something on his birthday and he had like balloons and birthday cake and stuff and then we have just basically seen family uh just here and there they've just kind of popped in to see us so that's how we've done his second birthday um a lot of people have said to me like really until you have to spend money on things like birthday parties like don't bother because you will spend your fair share of money in the years to come so and I'm all for that so yeah that's kind of what we've done we just kept it small seen family kept it quite manageable for Gabe because that's the other thing like I just don't know how he would be with a lot of people in that kind of environment I feel like there's like I like we can talk about this at a later date but I just feel a bit like there is a bit of a pressure on the expectation of how kids behave like especially when they're very young and it's like he he wouldn't be running up to people cuddling them and like smiling and all that kind of stuff that I think people expect and so th there's that kind of pressure as well so anyway um that's what we did for his birthday and then I've just been working a lot this week doing hair 
pretty much every day um which is tiring anyway but being pregnant it's very tiring i had my 20 week scan that was two weeks ago so today we're 22 weeks pregnant 20 week scan two weeks ago everything's fine that was great um we didn't find out what we're having a lot of people have asked us that and no we're not finding out we didn't find out with gabe and we're not finding out with this one it's just it, we just like to have the surprise uh, for ages i was like I, i'll be really surprised if it's a girl because I just can't imagine having a girl. I just feel like I'm going to have two boys. But then recently, both Hainsey and I were like, I think it might be a girl. But I know, like, you just kind of flip-flop between the two, I think, when you when you don't know what you're having. Um, so that's that update. Been working a lot this week. Um, it's Thursday today. We've woken up to a very gloomy day, as I've said, which is lovely. So what else do you do on a rainy day but go to Ikea? So... <laughs> Obviously I only just went there with my mum for Gay's birthday last week, but we are we have big plans for like the play bit of downstairs. Basically we've got essentially what would probably usually be used as a dining room, but we are just using it as Gabe's like playroom because <clears throat> we don't really need a dining room at the moment. And so we're trying to get it because we just I'll show you what we got him for his birthday, but we're trying to get it into some kind of order now. Um and Ikea have also got, I didn't realise the beauty of the family card from Ikea, my mum's got one um, and we had, we got money off last week when we went and they've got like an event at the moment until the end of August so some things are cheaper and the storage that we want to get for in that space is like almost £10 cheaper so we thought let's go on a family trip to Ikea so um, I'm just getting myself ready and then we're going to go out and do that we're going to take Gabe, we're going to have lunch, make a real day of it and you know a trip to ikea is always fun and then yeah i will poot off and do hair this evening so yeah that's kind of the plan for today i'm going to finish putting my makeup on and we'll see you shortly okay. i don't know what the issue is it just keeps like cuddling my legs and like leaning on me and whinging i don't know if he's feeling a bit I don't know, just a bit needy. But he's never really very needy, but... Sorry, we've got Teletubbies on in the background. It's his new... Um, I wouldn't say obsession, but... <laughs> Are you kissing them goodbye? <laughs> oh, goodness me. I mean, I'm probably going to get told off by everyone saying your kid shouldn't be that close to the telly. But that tells me you obviously don't have children. Because Apparently that's the only way they, c they can see the telly, no? Is that, is that all right? Uh, I'm going to actually show you in the sky. what I'm wearing. Look at the bum. I was saying to, um, look at that. Woof. Um, I'm, this is what I'm wearing today. Hendy just said you're very dressed up. And it does actually look quite dressed up for Ikea, sure. But it has pockets. It's this dress from Olive. I don't know if anyone remembers me getting this. I think last time I was pregnant. And it's like a tie back. I don't know how well I've tied those actually. Like a tie back dress. How the neck kind of almost strangles you, but I just like how it sits quite straight across. And the sleeves are just like this. But this is something, Olive isn't a pregnancy brand, but as you can see, they're quite generously sized. Unfortunately, they only do one size of everything, which isn't great, but everything I've got from them, well, I go to them for dresses. I'm sorry if the TV's loud, and everything I've got has fit me, um, oh, both pre-pregnancy, during pregnancy, and after pregnancy. So this, this is the dress, it kind of goes to just above my ankle. I've got socks on, because I'm going to be wearing uh, socks and sandals, <laughs> you know, because... That's how we do. Maybe actually, if I put you down here. Is this a good, oh wait, is my head cut off? Can you even see? This is the outfit. Can you see who's going to join us? Hello, my sweet angel. Can we get down? <coughs> Gabe's casual. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So there we go, Burks are on. I don't know if this color Burks actually go, anyway. They're gonna have to, aren't they? Because I don't know. Um, I wasn't sure whether to wear dark socks, but I don't think dark socks would really go, so that's just gonna have to be, this is also one of his favorite things to do. Um, right, let me show you what we got for his birthday whilst he's occupying himself. He's still got his little two balloons. Um, 
I did this last year, so I think this is going to be a yearly thing. I get a number, the number of their birthday, and then I just got two other balloons, and then it's kind of tied to the top. So when he knows what's happening and he comes downstairs in the morning, it's like, oh my god, look at your balloons! The infamous IKEA kitchen we got, and we love it. I'm thinking I might try and fashion a splashback I've seen on Pinterest because he keeps wanting, like he's got this tea set and he keeps wanting to throw everything behind the kitchen. He's actually started now putting things in what I think is the oven, um, but he does like to throw things down the back. Also got Ikea do their utensils as a, like a play kitchen option. So we got those two and they were out of stock of pots and pans annoyingly, but we got this basket of felt veg uh, which you can also get. My dad bought him this wooden tea set, um, which came with a teapot, two cups and spoons, and then a cake stand and sandwiches. This is really just to simulate making tea and drinking it when he's ready to, and even like sharing food and eating. I'll be honest, I actually sent my dad a link to a different one on Kidly, which he didn't take any notice of, so it's fine. <laughs> But I wouldn't have picked that one. But anyway, it's it's what we wanted something of that nature. So, you know, very grateful. Thank you for that gift. My dad won't watch this, so it doesn't matter if I say that. <laughs> um, then this, we got this table and chairs. Uh, table and chair, just one chair. Um, when baby number two's here. Oh God, look at the carpet. When baby number two's here, we made by the other chair. The one we wanted, which does actually come with two chairs, was sold out. And that was much cheaper than this one. But I actually really like this one because it's just very simple um, and classic. So he sits, that's to kind of help him just sit up and down from the table. It's also to encourage him to eat maybe some more different things because I was saying about Gabe's dinner, specifically he can be funny with. I mean, he's actually fine, but he just doesn't always try new things. And people have been saying to me, oh, if you just leave it on the table, he, he can then go back and, hold on, he's upset. He can then go back and forth and eat as he wants. Oh, are you okay? Oh, daddy's here anyway. Okay, Gabe, we might have to do this later. Gabe's first time trying meatball. I think he quite likes it, he's not sure. Isn't that nice? Do you enjoy it? We, we've come just in time for lunch and it's very busy. So, this is me. And Daddy's lunch. Ready? We've also got snacks from home just in case. A yogurt, banana, flapjack, breadsticks. Veggie straws, obviously, because veggie straws are life. Sorry, the oven's really loud because I've just turned it off and it's a fan oven, I believe. I mean, it's a fan oven when it makes that noise, it must be. It's the next day. <laughs> I didn't, obviously. Um, I'll you in after Ikea yesterday because um, the day just ran away with me. But I will fill you in. I've just got myself ready because I'm in my salon today. It's Friday. So I'm just going to say goodbye to the boys and then off I go. And we will catch up there. One thing I love about having my own salon space now, I still can't believe that I have my own salon space. Like, I still have to, like, I, I have days where I work there and I come home and I just feel so grateful because it's just one of those things where sometimes you just have to take stock of what you've done. It, you can easily take it for granted when you're busy and Okay, we're here, we're in the salon. I just had to keep stopping and starting just then because as I was walking, um, it was really quiet and I turned a corner and suddenly there was loads of people. So anyway, what I was saying was one of my favourite things is, is the walk from my house to the salon is just so nice, especially when I do it early, if I'm coming into the salon early, um, especially in this lovely summer weather 
Right, okay, this is getting worse. In the sunshine, it's just such a nice kind of start to the day to just be able to walk to work. Like, I spent so long commuting into London and all that kind of stuff. And I always wanted to just be able to just walk to work. And now I can do that and it's just fabulous. Anyway, and also what I was gonna say was, I think of that, is it a meme? How middle aged is that? Is it a meme? You know on the internet when people post that quote and it says something like, remember when you wanted what you have now or something i mean definitely more profound than that but essentially like to take stock of how far you've come and what you've achieved and i think we very rarely do that because it's easy especially with social media these days to constantly keep thinking you should be doing more you should have more is there someone else are listening to me but yeah just with social media you basically are never quite happy with what you have um, so it's important to, just to remember, you know, how far you've come and how well you're doing. I definitely feel like I do want for more, like there was a stage where all I wanted was just a space for me to work out of, which I now have. And I never wanted to have a salon, I never wanted to employ people, I just wanted to do my own thing. But I do feel like maybe now I do want to have a salon. I don't know if I want to employ people, I feel like I'd quite like to make like a freelancer space I definitely do feel like i would like to move towards that which feels very big but yeah i think just in terms of practicality of being a hairdresser getting older and having a family that's the reason why you open a, a salon it's like a sustainable business for you where it's not always on you to be the one doing the work that's why anyone, anyone starts a business isn't it anyway um but that's enough about that sort of talk i just popped into tesco's <laughs> picked up on my way an iced coffee and when I saw these and I was like oh my god I really want these kind of shitty donuts how gross is that I'm not gonna eat this whole thing I mean by the end of the day who knows um awful I'm supposed to be not eating as much sugar so yes I'm here today I have got one of my clients popping in this morning with her two-year-old no he's one he's not two her uh, one-year-old I don't actually usually do kids hair, but for clients, you know, if they need to spot it, like he's tiny and doesn't have much hair, so it's not gonna take long. Um, so she's popping in this morning, I'm just gonna give him a little trim. And then I have a lovely client at 11 who's having an Olaplex treatment and a cut. And then my friend is coming in for highlights and a cut. Oh, I don't know if she's having a cut actually, but she's coming in for a color. And then that's my day, that's my Friday. So oh, I didn't catch up yesterday after Ikea which we'll do probably when I get home. We got what we needed to get, sorted out the playroom, and the day just kind of ran away with me because I was then in my other salon last night. Um, so no, nothing much to report. Ikea was busy-ish, but I just didn't really get my camera out whilst we were there. So yeah, I'll fill you in on, well, I'll finish what we got for Gabe's birthday and also show you what we've done to the, like that playroom bit and what we intend to do. So there we go, that's Friday. Hello everyone, it's a little bit later and I am home, obviously, in my kitchen, just cooking a little lamb curry. I've just turned it down to a simmer, but these induction hobs take ages to respond, I feel like. But anyway, in there we've just got some lamb, onions, curry paste and lamb stock so i'll just leave that now for about an hour and a half to just reduce and i can cook rice but i like to almost do like a fake takeaway so i like to get a little pilau rice and today's rice is from waitrose but sainsbury's equally do a lovely pilau rice waitrose actually do one that's got carrot i feel like it's carrot spinach and something else like in it and that's a really lovely rice and then i've got some naan in the freezer which i would take out and some mango chutney <coughs> so that's our dinner i don't know why i've just gone through what i'm you know i don't know if anyone's actually interested in that i need to show you so yeah obviously as usually happens when i'm in salon doing hair the day kind of ran away with me so i didn't film anything i did my friend coco's hair which was lovely to see her and ordered in lunch and I got, I am obsessed. I've been really craving sushi this pregnancy and it, like I'm sure if I went to Itsu or somewhere it would be fine because they say that you can eat sushi if it's been frozen 
I'm not really sure what the stipulations are, but I just don't. I just think it's not really worth the risk. So I haven't eaten it, but all through the summer I've been craving it because I love sushi, especially when it's hot. And I thought, let me try a veggie option from Itsu. And I ordered it the other day and it was really good, specifically dragon rolls. And I realised they do, they do like a veggie sushi platter, but they do just the dragon rolls by themselves. So I've eaten them twice this week because they're that good. So I ordered those today for my lunch to the salon. And I meant to show you them and talk about them. I'll probably order them again tomorrow because I'm in salon all day. I've got a really long day tomorrow actually in salon. And I have long days in salon. I allow myself to have a little treat because, um, you know, I'm a hard working mummy. Bumps huge at the end of the day. I feel like, I feel like I can physically feel it expanding. But anyway, let me show you what we got for Gabe's birthday because I started the other day and I didn't finish. Hello, my angel. Gabe's here, but he's in his nappy, so I'm not going to show him on the internet in his nappy. Thank you very much. Right, let's turn this lamp on. Or, or not, actually. Let's maybe not turn this lamp on because it will make us go bankrupt. Like, I can't even, I'm not even going to talk about, I'm not even going to talk about the impending doom that's hanging over us all for winter because I think all of us are quite sick of hearing about it. Hello, my gorgeous angel. This is what we got from Ikea the other day for storage. We already have it in the living room, as you can see. Oh, Gabe's run back. So basically, it's messy now, but this is the dining room area of our living space. If we walk back here, there's Gabe's head. This is like the sofas here, and then we've got the TV and everything here. So I hate to, um, Hainsley, <laughs> Gabe's just watching Hey Doggy um, before bedtime, which will be soon. But anyway, we have this whole space here, which most would use as like a dining area. We don't really need a dining area and we don't, we'd like a dining room table at some point, but we don't need one. So once we moved here, we both, we kind of agreed that this could just be Gabe's area and babies, just the kids area, basically. And so we're, it's kind of starting to come together as we have been using it more and more. So as I say, for Gay's birthday, we got him, I've shown you this already, the kitchen, the vegetables are on the floor, obviously. Um, this table and chairs. We then got this mat for him to do his cars on um, and eventually hopefully learn about like the track. And then in here, things like this, I like to keep in a very wanky <laughs> canvas bag. So lots of his toys are in these ASOP bags just to keep them all together so we don't lose them. But we basically got him these magnetic trains from Ikea that are quite easy to build into like a long train if it doesn't repel. And one of these wooden train sets. There's a brand called Brio that does these um, from John Lewis, which are very expensive. So these Ikea versions were much much cheaper so I can highly recommend them but anyway I keep them all the parts together as I say in here we haven't had the train set out today so that's why it's still in here and then once Gabe goes to bed all of these toys get tidied up and go into this storage unit which is the Calax storage so we got the drawers we've got like a Calax here um, and then we've got one here and the same drawers I just feel like it it brings the rooms together really nicely but the bigger plan for this room is to have in this like a bed like a chair bed option um we've seen one on made that we love but it's sold out in gray which is the color we want and it's basically like a love seat size so bigger than an armchair and it's on the floor so it's quite easy and like relaxed and i feel like it's cute for a playroom the kids will be able to climb on it quite easily we can all sit there together and read um on rainy days but also it folds out into a bed because we we have a two bedroom house. So obviously we're in one room and Gabe's in another. Like when baby's here, like with Gabe in our last flat, it was useful to have my mum come and stay with us to help us look after him or if Hainsey's away, it's useful to be able to have her to come and stay. But at the moment, so in our old flat, we had two bedrooms and we had a double bed. I don't know if anyone remembers that we kept in Gabe's room specifically so that we could go and sleep in there and my mum could sleep in our room. We don't have a room, like Gabe's room isn't big enough now to have an adult bed in there as well. So when my mum has been coming to stay, we've moved his cot from his room into ours and my mum has stayed in his room on like a put up bed. Um, that's not gonna be feasible to do once we have a new baby. 
so we need an option so that people mostly my mum but people we basically have another area where there's a bed and also for like if Hainsley's working and there's me and the baby in bed and he needs to sleep he can come down here and sleep equally when the baby's very new um like with Gabe Hainsley and I kind of tag team through the nights when Gabe was very young and so he would stay in the lounge with Gabe for kind of the first part of the evening he'd then bring him through to me um and put him in his cot and he'd spend the rest of the night in with me and then Hainsley would sleep in the spare room but essentially we could sleep down here with the new baby because obviously we don't want to take them up and downstairs in the middle of the night but when we're feeding through the night if we need to get bottles the kitchen's down here obviously when you're in a flat it's a bit easier but being in a house now yeah thinking about when the baby is very young and if we're feeding through the night we could all just sleep down here not all of us but like whoever's on duty <laughs> with the baby could sleep down here with them in a Moses basket so yeah planning for this room but also just to have uh just a cozy space basically so the kids can have some quiet time and we can all cozy up together and things like that and also it's just an extra seat in this space which will be good so yeah I'm very out of breath now so that is wrapping up the at the ikea day i'm gonna get gabe ready for bed soon and then wait for hainsley to come home and we'll have our dinner and probably watch made in chelsea because that's been on every night this week well it's bedtime for mummy we've just watched made in chelsea eating our lamb curry sat next to each other looking at our phones yes hi <laughs> looking at each other through our phone but i thought i'd just show you the little playroom bit when it's tidy there we go that's it all nice and tidy so it does look a little bit bare don't those curtains look nice they came with the house it does look a bit bare with uh, no toys around this is our little nappy station so the chair situation i was talking about would go here and then it would be nice and cozy and then we think we might put some pictures up on this little chimney breast bit here i think it will be very cozy once we get the chair sorted so yeah i just wanted to show you that just before i hop off to bed and i will probably see you oh maybe i'll end this vlog here we'll see